But for our weather locally, things are pretty quiet. We are waking up to another mostly clear start to the day. We're not going to see those clouds kind of sneak in. Fortunately, the winds are going to shift. That's going to help to keep things pretty dry and also keep some of that lake effect stuff away from us. But right now we are chilly, 46 degrees, a little bit cooler than what we were yesterday at this time due to the fact that we don't have the cloud coverage. Wind, winds also staying on the uh, calm side are going to help to keep things pretty chilly out there. 38 degrees right now in Lancaster, 38 in Athens, 43 in Zanesville, 46 in Mount Vernon, and 48 up in Bucyrus. The next several hours, things are going to stay pretty cool, but it's going to be nice to see the sunshine out there, and that's going to go a long way, especially as we head into the afternoon. Compared to the past couple days, it's probably going to feel like it's in the 70s because it's just been gloomy, windy, and with temperatures in the 60s, it feels like it's in the 50s. And of course, with the rain that we were dealing with to start the week, that certainly doesn't help either. But the good news is we will be looking at dry conditions heading into tonight, although chilly again. Temperatures back in the 40s. Tomorrow waking up, temps in the 40s for us, but more sunshine coming our way. Probably close to as warm as what it's going to be today, tomorrow by 12 o'clock. So we will be gaining some ground, feeling nice out, especially into the afternoon. 68 degrees for us by 4 o'clock. And then eventually seeing some of these upper level clouds move in. So like I said, expect it to speed up a little bit, not so much bring more impacts for us, but arriving a little bit earlier than what the National Hurricane Center was expecting as far as how the storm is going to move as it pops back into the Atlantic, but also what then happens as it moves further inland and pushes to the north. By Saturday morning, it looks like we'll start to see some of the remnants creeping in through West Virginia, Eastern Kentucky. By the time we head into Saturday evening, that's where it looks like we could be dealing with some rain, although it's looking like most of it's going to be south and east of Columbus where we could see some of that heavier rainfall. And for the most part, it looks like then with some dry air that's going to be kind of cutting in on the backside, there will be a big cutoff zone between seeing rain and not but we will start to see that eventually move out to the east as we head into Monday, where we will be waking up to mostly sunny skies. We'll catch a nice break. Nothing near what folks down to the south are dealing with associated with the system, and still not enough in my eyes to really warrant, you know, some widespread precipitation across our area. So still keeping those rain chances pretty slim for the time being, unless uh, proven otherwise with some of our models that will get more high resolution data available as we get closer to the weekend. So by tomorrow, have a really good idea of what we'll be looking at as far as the hour by hour for your weekend on Saturday. So something to keep an eye out for, especially for the Buckeyes game, kicking off against Rutgers at 3.30 at the shoe. So another home game, and it looks like maybe the first that we might be looking at a little bit of rain, but also looks like things will be drying out as we head into Sunday, featuring a little more sun as we head into the second half of the day. Cooler start of the week on Monday, but still on the cool side all in all throughout your 10-day forecast with highs in the mid to upper 60s.